Welcome to September. This month we're looking at what's going on for you with your money in the beginning, middle, and end of the month. What is the theme for your money this month? Any potential new income sources coming through? Opportunities that you should consider? Actions to take to advance your career? What's going right and wrong with your current career path? And then you can also check out what's going on generally for you in the month of September in a separate set of videos. Hey Capricorn, let's talk about your money in the month of September. Okay, so they have a lot of things that they want to say <laughs> about the beginning of the month. Um, in the beginning of the month, things might change for the better very quickly. Um, it looks like a month where maybe you, it's not necessarily a raise, but somehow your income expands. So um, things could start paying off. And it's not by any decision that you've made. It's maybe somebody sends you a gift. Maybe um, you have a little bit of a stock investment and it starts to grow. They say don't worry about it. Just know that things are going to start to expand in your favor. That could even be like all of a sudden you get discounts, your um, air conditioning bill is less than you thought, stuff like that. In the middle of the month, they're saying um, things are feeling good. They're totally organized. Um, maybe you've created a budget or something for yourself, and then now new opportunities for more income come into play. So this might be a job opportunity. This might be creating your own business. This could be, you know, selling something you make on Etsy. And the end of the month, this energy still persists. So pay attention to opportunities that might come through for you. Your money theme of the month um, is about trust, actually. Um, it's trusting the people who are involved in your money and then trusting your own instincts and intuition with this. You have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice, voice so have faith in your own tuition. So um, I'll give you a silly example. One day I was painting my house and it occurred to me out of nowhere because, you know, you're in that flow energy and that's when things come. You need to buy stock in Disney. So I figure out how I'm going to do that. I have to download some app. I have to wait three days when you put your money in there. And I did. And it has gone up just over the last few months, like 45%. I've made huge gains in just the one share that I bought, which at the end of the day is like, what, 20 bucks? But who cares? It was still fucking awesome. Okay. So um, trust your own instincts here. Now, potential new income sources coming through from you. It's more about having more money because you're saving more money. Um, so this would be more along the lines of maybe your bank offers a higher savings account interest rate than before, or they have some sort of new saving, um, like, certificate of deposit offer. Or maybe uh, you can call up Comcast and have your cable internet bill reduced, something along those lines. It's not like, I mean, in the beginning, in the middle and the end of the month, there might be a new source coming through. But um, in the beginning, especially, that's how that would happen for you. Opportunities that you should be considering. And they're saying, um, some of you really don't need to be considering many things. Like if you don't deeply feel it, if it's not intuitively coming to you, then there's outside sources like bringing new news or whatever. Um, don't go out of your way to like really try to see this from a different lens and talk yourself into it. Those would not be ones that you want to consider. Actions that you should take to advance your career path. And they're just saying, um, pouring as much love into what you do as possible because that's going to show. Um, but they also mention that self-care is going to be very important. And if you don't take care of yourself and um, really put your own needs, wants, and desires kind of first, uh, then it's going to be a little bit rougher for Capricorns uh, than those that do, that the ones that don't than the ones that do. And this totally correlates with your general reading. So if you haven't watched that, at the end of the video, you can click on it. There will be a little link there. Um, I would recommend that you watch that because they keep mentioning that especially towards the middle and the end of the month, it's easy to slip into depression if we're not putting our own needs first and doing adequate self-care. Um, what is right with your current career path? They're saying um, if you put a lot of love into something, but now you feel like it's time to move on towards something bigger and better – for you, you're absolutely right, and it's okay to let it go. What's maybe not 
going so well with your career path is those of you who have an idea that um, past is going to be a predictor of the future, that's not correct. Not in this month, not in this circumstance. So, you know, for example, maybe I'm thinking, hmm, I really love my current career path, but now I want to move up in the company and I want to be a manager instead of in sales. Um, but, you know, the last time I went out for a job like that, I was denied. Well, maybe this time would be different because you have more experience or because your luck has changed or there's not a better candidate or whatever. So um, that's kind of a little bit of a confusing energy, isn't it? But what they're saying is we want you to be thinking about your long-term goals. And this isn't that different from Scorpio, actually. Their money reading was all about thinking long-term. So if you have Capricorn and Scorpio together in your chart, that would be very, very important for you. Um, I can't wait to talk to you in October. Love you. Thanks for getting all the way to the end of this video with me. Click here to sign up to win a free 20 minute video reading. Click here if you want to see the career and money video. And click here to subscribe.